हिसाब से तैयारी की जाए ठीक है हेलो एम आई ऑडेबल सभी यस सर ओके ओके तो आप लोग आज डिस्कस करके कोई डेट मुझे शेयर कर दीजिएगा फॉर द एग्जाम ऑफ यूनिट नंबर टू Just one minute. so in the last lecture we have uh, discussed about the equilibrium equation in polar coordinate now uh, moving to the next uh, step we are going to discuss about the biharmonic equation in polar coordinate okay so uh, we have uh, we have uh, already uh, derived biharmonic equation for cartesian coordinate in earlier unit Uh, wherein we find this expression okay del 4 f i equal to uh, this this will be a break up del square in, and del square del phi and this is del uh, represents a second order derivative of x and y okay again this uh, derivative is the second order derivative of x and y and this is the function phi just like that hello yes sir what is जी 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 सर ओके ओके सो दिस दिस इज कार्टिजन कोऑर्डिनेट व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिराइव इन यूनिट नंबर टू एंड नाउ इन दिस इक्वेशन सिग्मा वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा एक्सेस इज दिस second order derivative of phi is with respect to y sigma xx or sigma x sigma yy is uh, del 2 phi upon del x lx del x square and tau xy was minus del 2 phi upon del x del y this thing is just to uh, make you uh, um, uh, just to refresh your memory now how to uh, convert this equation <coughs> in polar form so in order to transform this equation to polar form we need to know how to express derivatives with respect to x and y in terms of r and theta so what we are going to do we are going to convert del upon del x in del upon in form of del upon del r okay so instead of x we are having r instead of y we are having theta now how to convert this so uh, th there is a chain rule of uh, uh, in differential equation and the chain rule said that uh, you can write the derivative in this form del upon del x can be written as del upon del r del r upon del x okay so it can be cancel out and you will be having del upon del x plus del upon del theta and del theta upon del x okay so it can be added here okay so by chain rule you can write uh, your del upon del x derivative in this form okay so now uh, actually this is a uh, you can say it is a tricking part that uh, we actually want to convert x and y in form of r and theta that's why we want to we want some way to introduce r and theta in this form okay 
Understand? Similarly, we can write uh, a derivative with respect to y, e del upon del y can be written as like this, okay? Del upon del y, and we have insert del r upon del here, del r, okay? So it can be written as del upon del r, del r upon del y, plus del upon del theta, del theta upon del y, okay? Understand? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, so, I, yes. okay, so uh, I think this this is very clear now. So we will we will move step by step, and everything will be clear to you. Okay. Now, what happens when we can when we can write this kind of expression? <clears throat> then. Because this is a derivative, so uh, whatever phi x and y, uh, whatever function is there, if if you want to write del phi upon del x, then here comes the phi, here comes the phi, like that, okay? But we need to find out the value of this, okay? What is the value of del r upon del x? What is the value of del theta upon del x? And what is the value of del r upon del y? And what should be the value of del theta by del y? So we need to find the values of these derivatives by using concept of Cartesian coordinate and the relationship with the polar coordinate. Okay. Now move to this and let have a have a figure like this. Okay. So this is uh, an axis which is familiar axis, x-axis and y-axis. So it is a xy plane, okay? Now, uh, we have this radius, okay? So if we draw a horizontal line here and horizontal line, a vertical line here, the diagonal is, can be termed as r, okay? And its angle will be termed as theta. So if you can convert the from uh, anything from a Cartesian to polar, what you can have, you can do. We, you can uh, convert this proposition of y and x with respect to r and theta. Okay. Now, how how come this this concept came? Okay. So, uh, are you understand why why these these things are there? Hello. Do you understand this relationship? Sir. Yes, 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 sir. तो इसको इसकी बाउंड्री को आप कोऑर्डिनेट के फॉर्म में x एंड y के फॉर्म में डिफाइन करेंगे अब इसी तरह की एक सर्कुलर बॉडी है जिसको आप पोलर में डिफाइन करना चाहते हैं तो क्या करेंगे आप इसका रेडियस बताएंगे और आप इसका रिवॉल्यूशन बताएंगे ठीक है जैसे अगर आप इस 90 डिग्री क्वार्टर को बताना चाहते हैं तो थीटा को आप 90 डिग्री बता देंगे और रेडियस डिफाइन कर देंगे तो देन व्हाट यू हैव यू हैव ए दिस काइंड ऑफ एरिया similar thing can be also defined by the Cartesian coordinate but you need to define uh, every s point in x y okay so aap jahan rahe hai ki thoda gradually yahan se uh, y equal to suppose y equal to 10 hai aur x equal to yahan pe 0 hoga uh, coordinate aur yahan pe coordinate kya hoga suppose x equal to 10 hai uh, chali y pehle likha do y likhte pehle y equal to 0 or uh, sorry uh, haan, x equal to 10 over ठीक है तो ये तो बहुत आसान है इसके बीच में कोई इसके मिडिल वैल्यूज होंगे y1 होगा x9 होगा y2 होगा x8 होगा इस तरह से ठीक है तो ये एक एक कर्व के फॉर्म में आप इसके कोऑर्डिनेट डिफाइन कर सकते हैं या फिर सिंपली आप पोलर में इसको डिफाइन कर सकते हैं वो ज्यादा इजी है सिंपल r theta के फॉर्म में डिफाइन कर दीजिए क्योंकि ये इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ ए आर्क ठीक है तो दिस रिलेशनशिप केम्स हियर ओके अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वी मूव अहेड सो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन r थीटा एंड xy 
So uh, just write, see this triangle, we can write tan theta equal to y by x. <coughs> Look this triangle, tan theta equal to y upon x. Now uh, theta can be written as tan inverse y by x. Now you can have the feeling you are having a relation of theta with respect to y and x. Okay. And we are going to insert this relation in form of derivatives in the equation. Second uh, thing can be written as r square using Pythagoras theorem. r square is equal to x square plus y square or r equal to under root x square plus y square. Okay. So using these two relations, we have basically find out a relationship between theta and xy and r and xy. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Now move ahead and we shall write the values of x with respect to r and theta. So from here, uh, from see this uh, triangle, we can write x equal to r cos theta. x equal to r because this is an hypotenuse and its component in horizontal direction. x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta. Okay. Now, uh, see this point. Okay. We are having r equal to under root x square plus y square means x square plus y square power 1 by 2. So, uh, by differentiating this equation with respect to x, what we are having? We are going to have the uh, <coughs> 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is taken forward and this will become 1 minus, 1 minus the power. So, x square plus y square minus 1 by 2 and the again differentiation d upon, uh, d upon dx of this x square plus y square. So uh, when you differentiate the x square plus y square, this term becomes 0 and x differentiation of x square will become 2x. Okay. So the differentiation uh, of uh, del r upon del x can be written as this. Okay. 1 by 2 x square plus y square minus 1 by 2 into 2x. Now if you simplify this, uh, this 2 is cancelled out and uh, you can write this x upon the whole thing x square plus y square power 1 by 2. Okay. Now again, we have already written that x square plus y square power 1 by 2 is r. So you can write it x by r. Okay. And x by r from this triangle x upon r base upon hypotenuse can be written as cos theta. Uh, just just one second. Eh? Just one second. Okay, okay, sorry for that. Okay, so uh, we can write uh, uh, simply del r upon del x can be written as cos theta. So in this equation, when we need del r upon del x, we can write this in the place of this, we can write the cos theta. Okay, now second point, we need to find out del theta upon del x. So, okay, so let's first find del r upon del y. <coughs> Similar thing, with if we differentiate r with respect to y, what we have? Similarly, x 1 by 2 x square plus y square minus 1 by 2. And instead of 2x, we are having differentiation of means 2y. Okay? Sir, this um, differentiation, the um, partial differentiation kya hai with respect to x, r ka? Ji. ये कैसे हुआ है ये बेटा डिफरेंशिएशन नहीं आता आपको नहीं नहीं आता है लेकिन जी जी ये ओके ओके भाई ये x की पावर 1/2 वाला डिफरेंशिएशन है क्या ठीक है ठीक है ओके सर हां ठीक है ओके सो इफ यू कैन डिफरेंशिएट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू y यू कैन राइट दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस नाउ सिंपली सिंपलीफाइंग यू कैन राइट इट uh, similar like y by r. 
Okay. Now, y by r again, y by r using this triangle, you can find out the, uh, this will be a so y by r can be written as sin theta. Okay. Now, uh, so instead of uh, in, in place of this equation, uh, we can write cos theta, and this in place of this equation, we can write sin theta. Now, half work is done. Now, we need to find out the derivative uh, del theta upon del x and del theta upon del y. Now, <coughs> we uh, now again, we are going in theta section. So, we are basically targeting this relationship. So, th uh, theta is tan inverse y by x. And if you differentiate the tan inverse, uh, so it can be written as tan inverse u, well, uh, uh, tan inverse u formula. So it will be d, uh, du upon 1 plus u square. So del theta upon del x uh, can be written as simply del uh, tan inverse y by x upon del x. So it is x and it is y by x. Okay. So it will it is again tan inverse 1 by x uh, formula. So you have uh, the relationship is simple 1 plus y 1 plus y upon x square. Uh, 1 upon sorry 1 upon 1 plus y upon x square and again the differentiation of y by x with respect to x so this y by x with respect to x means differentiation of 1 upon x with respect to x you can have this relation okay so it will be it will become minus y upon x square so if you solve this uh, simply what we have minus x uh, if you simple x square plus y square upon x square so x square will go up and cancel down so minus y x square plus y square okay if you uh, again we know that x square plus y square is equal to r square so we can write del theta upon del x is equal to y minus y upon r square similarly we shall do it again with for the uh, Okay, so there is another uh, movement also. Uh, this r square <coughs> is written as r into r, and y by r is uh, considered as in from the triangle is sine theta. So uh, equation can be del theta upon del x can be written as minus sine theta upon r. Now uh, for the second term, del theta upon del y, we again do it again, uh, again with uh, differentiate tan inverse with. Uh, tan inverse y by x with respect to but y. So what will happen? This 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 term remains same like earlier, but this thing this term uh, is different. It is basically what happens. Uh, it is the differentiation of y upon one by x. So this thing is not differentiable. So this thing act as a constant. So y is removed from here and only what we left with one by x. Okay. So uh, uh, just simplify it, x square plus y square upon x square, x square is goes up and cut down. So what we have, x upon r square. Now x upon r square can be written as x upon r into r, so cos theta upon r, okay? Now we all have, we have all four derivatives. So instead of uh, del theta upon del x, we, we are going to write minus sine theta upon r. And instead of del theta upon del y, we are going to write cos theta. Okay, so we managed to get all related all four derivatives in terms of r and theta. Now, just writing for uh, function of phi, so del phi upon del x, and uh, this is del phi upon del r, uh, is and we what we have del r upon del x, del phi upon del theta, del theta upon del x. So instead of del r upon del x, we have written cos theta instead of del theta upon del x we have minus sine theta so minus is taken here so this can this equation can be written like this similarly other equation <coughs> of uh, del uh, phi upon uh, del y uh, for y differentiation we have put the value del r upon del y with sine theta and uh, sorry uh, and uh, del theta upon sorry where it is Okay, del phi del r, del r upon del y, we have written sine theta and uh, okay, del, del r upon del y, 
डेलार अपॉन डेलवाई क्या निकाला था डेलार अपॉन डेलवाई हमने निकाला था साइन थीटा ओके डेलार अपॉन डेलवाई इज रिटर्न एज साइन थीटा एंड डेल थीटा अपॉन डेलवाई इज कंसिडर एज डेल थीटा अपॉन डेलवाई इज कॉस थीटा अपॉन आर सो कॉस थीटा अपॉन ऑल ऑफ आर आर सो बाय सिंपलीफाइंग इट वी कैन राइट द इक्वेशन लाइक दिस now <clears throat> we know that uh, uh, you uh, if we want to write by harmonic equation what we need we need the second order derivatives okay like this okay so basically we we want uh, del 2 del 2 uh, del 2 upon del x square and del 2 upon del y square okay so uh, if we want uh, writing for the function phi so what we we need basically del 2 phi upon del x square and del 2 phi upon del y square now we have uh, uh, for single degree del phi upon del x and del phi upon del y so what we are going to do we simply de uh, uh, differentiate with respect to x again and with respect to y again and we have this these second order derivatives and we put uh, all this uh, value into in the form of by harmonic equation okay so this is we are going to do so differentiating this equation uh, with respect to x what we have we are going to differentiate it again del upon del phi upon del x so this term comes here divided by del x now uh, def, uh, we know that uh, del phi upon del x got this value so we write in form of this value okay and differentiate this function again and by again differentiating this function we got the like this okay we got this function so what what happens only <clears throat> instead of <clears throat> instead of phi we have put the whole expression okay instead of phi we just put the whole expression okay and open differentiate it again so we what we are having del 2 phi upon del x square have this expression yeah. it, it, it is simple uh, expansion nothing else okay uh, you need not to worry about it just just follow the procedure and you will get this equation now uh, here we can see there are some uh, uh, obviously uh, some uh, terms which can cancel which may cancel out there are some terms which may add up okay so again but for information this is basically what we are find, finding sigma y because del 2 phi upon del x square and uh, similarly if we do this operation for del 2 phi upon del y square so this is what we are having sigma x okay but so by simple expanding and uh, adding adding these two equations when we add these two equations we can take something in common okay so uh, del 2 phi upon del x del r square in plus sin square theta sorry this expression del 2 phi upon del x square sin square theta and del 2 phi upon del r square cos square theta so when you add these two you what you can have common sin square theta plus cos square theta similarly other things can also be taken as common so sin square theta and cos square theta can be written as one and this uh, using uh, these two things will cancel out uh, again this thing can be written as one and this thing can be written as one okay and other things are cancelled out so after cancelling out what we are having we are ending up with this this form of equation that is del 2 phi upon del x square plus del 2 phi upon del y square is equal to del 2 phi upon del r square plus del phi upon del r into 1 by r from here uh, sorry from here and uh, del 2 phi upon del theta square upon into 1 upon r square this is this this is what what this is the second order derivative of phi okay as we commonly write in form of by harmonic equation so del 2 phi on del del x square plus del 
upon del y square into phi okay in this form okay so uh, in short we can write like this del to phi now again uh, because for biharmonic equation we want fourth fourth order of derivative so del for phi is equal to, can be written as this so one more i uh, term is multiplied here and uh, similarly this thing can be written as like this okay just take out phi and take out and write it again second times and phi okay so this is basically the expression or uh, uh, th this is basically the biharmonic equation of in polar coordinate okay understand hello hello uh, am i audible sun rahe beta yes sir yes okay okay so uh, do you understand yes sir okay so uh, <clears throat> i'll share uh, your with this ppt to you uh, uh, in on your uh, whatsapp group also so you just uh, you can take uh, but uh, do practice yourself first and uh, you can practice it uh, again okay so just if you if you do practice again uh, one or two times it 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 feels very simple but ye bhi jitne bhi ye expansion hai inko aap zarur khud kariyega otherwise jo hai wo problem ho jayegi acha jahan tak ye differentiation ka sawal hai dekhiye kya hota hai ki kafi din se agar istemal mein na rahe to jo standard formula hai wo miss ho jate hain aur humse bhi ho jate hain koi aisi baat nahi hai so agar koi is tarah ka formula aapke samne aa raha hai to just open your 12th book again and you can revise it okay so uh, i think uh, uh, we shall stop and uh, please go and uh, review this uh, derivation and uh, we shall move again uh, to the next point okay now um, we we will be <coughs> discussing uh, the ways to find out stresses in polar coordinate and uh, stresses in different then we take the uh, problems uh, like curved beam how to find stresses in curved beam in polar coordinate etc okay so uh, i must stop here uh, to next